once again, welcome to the wild side. Today, I'm gonna show you how to do a combination of the rhinestones and embroidery, okay? The first thing that we're gonna do as usual, we're gonna place a shirt in the plate, okay? Always making sure that it's centered, that it doesn't have any folds, okay, like this. And then the next step will be to place our rhinestones and our embroidery together. The first step that you do, okay, let me see if I can open it easier over here. There you go. You always keep the butterfly on the side for a little bit until you do your rhinestones, until you center your, your rhinestones. And you do it like this. This one, I'm trying to go a little bit higher on that part so it shows a little bit better, okay? And then we're gonna place our butterfly inside of it. See how easy it is? Just place it, okay? Once it's placed, you do them at 320 degrees, okay? For 10 seconds with a medium pressure. And here we go. <clears throat> as soon as the 10 seconds are done, the machine is gonna start beeping, so that means that you need to open your machine. And what we usually will do with something like this with the rhinestones and, and the embroidery, you let it cool down until it's like cold to the touch, okay? But since we don't have the time to let it cool down, this is what we're gonna do. Just gonna shake it for a little bit, for about seven times. Okay, five, six, and seven. And that should be cool enough, there you go. And then you remove your backing. Sometimes the backing gets a little bit sticky, so you just gotta hold your garment down, like this. and remove your backing. Okay. And a lot of people like to do this extra step, which is turning the shirt upside down and then press it for just one second. This time, <coughs> applying a little bit more pressure. There you go. And here it is.